I can't believe it's already time to talk about this. Facebook has leaked Oculus Quest face and eye tracking for a future headset. Before I even go on to talk about this leak and everything inside it, I have to first give my big thanks to Basti564. They basically have a whole channel around reverse engineering all the updates and all the software for the Quest 2. So if you are interested in that, definitely check out his channel and links that I post in the description below. So from what I learned, version 28 had some small strings referencing a face and eye tracking runtime for a future Oculus Quest headset. Facebook's interest in eye and face tracking is actually not very new. Mark Zuckerberg himself has even expressed interest in a podcast that he would love to include the functionality in as soon as he could. Despite that, I wasn't really sure how soon they meant. I mean, when a CEO says soon, that could really mean anything. And a lot of PR talk constantly happens. But in version 29, which just came out a couple days ago, a much bigger leak that expands on the leak from version 28 was just found. So on the images you are seeing on your screen, those are actual code references in the software that basically talks all about the facial and eye tracking runtimes that you'll see for probably an Oculus Quest 2 or Quest Pro, whatever they decide to call it. Now this is pretty crazy. It goes on to detailing that the calibration for eye tracking, which most eye tracked headsets do need to go through a calibration, Usually you follow a dot around your headset's eyes and basically the calibration decides, well, how exaggerated are your eye movements, how open are your, are your eyes, stuff like that. While I was expecting that a headset would have eye tracking pretty soon, especially since an eye tracking for a standalone headset is actually very beneficial. We saw that PS5 VR headset, it's going to have eye tracking built in and phobia and rendering. And it makes a lot of sense for these applications, especially for standalone hardware, which cannot render nearly the same as, well, a giant PC. But Fovea and rendering with eye tracking can allow a lot more headroom and basically even have better graphics, allegedly, uh, for mobile hardware. That's why Sony's interested in it, and this is why I think that Facebook was going to be interested in it at some point, too. What I really did not expect, though, is they're already going to be working on the face tracking as well. Just a reminder for what I'm talking about. Maybe you don't really understand what I'm talking about. This is the HTC Vive Pro I. It has built-in eye tracking by Toby, and this has a little attachment here called the HTC Vive Facial Tracker. The facial tracker handles all the mouth data and basically all your cheeks puffing in and around, and even your tongue, uh, to have some very insane social expressions for VR. I've basically been praising this idea and concept for a good amount of time now, and I've been saying it's going to be literally the future of all VR, whether you're into social VR or not. Eye tracking has been like a concept for a while now, but we're just kind of seeing it actually reach consumer headsets more recently. We have the HP Reverb G2 Omni set that just released like last week that has built-in eye tracking. We have this HTC Vive Pro I, which actually came out about a couple years ago with built-in eye tracking, and well... There's the HTC Vive Pro 2 that is not going to have built-in eye tracking. Which I made a whole video complaining about that, saying that it's going to make that headset feel very passe very soon. And this news kind of supports that a bit. So definitely Facebook really believes in eye and facial tracking too. Which is a good thing and a horrible thing. I freaking love the technology. I think it's so great for immersion and all these things. Once uh, it's standardized in consumer tech, it's going to be a good thing altogether for every VR experience, especially if you have any multiplayer at all in a game. Having these features in an actual Quest product, which is very consumer friendly, it's going to do insane for making it more accessible to more people. So the face tracking coding even talks about how uh, apps can even access it or write to the actual eye tracking data. So basically, it's already to the point where it's experimental enough that maybe Facebook in the near future is going to be contacting developers, like maybe game developers, to start implementing the eye tracking side of it in their games. Not only is phobia rendering or social VR experiences good with eye tracking, but imagine if developers had more control or at least can like 
control experiences more with the eye tracking. I will say face tracking itself is mostly more of a thing that is t entirely social, but once you try it, you will not want to go back. So there's generally a ton of good about consumers easily getting into eye tracking and face tracking. But there's also possibly some bad things that may happen. So let's put on our tinfoil hats for a bit and imagine what bad things could happen from this kind of technology. Mostly eye tracking. You know how invasive ads can be? First of all, they already can pretty much tailor an ad to you super personalized based on all the movements you do in VR. But imagine if, well, the headset was able to actually tell if you were watching it or not. Imagine if there's a timed ad that's like 10 seconds long and a program that is running the ad can then tell if you're looking away from it or even closing your eyes during the ad. That would be pretty terrible and freaking annoying. It's just a small possibility. Some of the more invasive and more intrusive things of eye tracking could be more figuring out, well, what kind of colors or things do consumers stare at the most when they are watching ads? What kind of things do they notice in VR more that we can even tailor more ads to you? And basically, we go back to, you are a product and the hardware is not a product. I know people don't care and hate when I drag on about it, but these are things we need to talk about now. I am heavily against the idea that you should just not care about your personal data, especially because there will be a time where BCIs are consumer ready and ha giving companies access to your brain, which will become a common thing, whether you like it or not. If we don't stop bad practices and privacy now, then we're pretty much doomed by then. So first and foremost, I am super excited to see this, but I'm also super terrified. It's, it's terrible to be in VR and watch what Facebook is doing, but it's also great. It it's just sucks, you know? But at the same time, it allows me to be smug because uh, in a couple of weeks, I'll be getting my HTC Vive Pro 2 and I'll be reviewing it. I basically already praise that its resolution and all the other specs of its lens and displays are going to be amazing. It's a lighthouse headset. I love that. But my video about complaining it's not having eye tracking is probably going to be more relevant than ever within literally a year. It's at the point where I believe an Index 2 is going to have eye tracking as well. I think it's basically impossible for any super high tier enthusiast or even consumer headsets in the next few years to not have eye tracking. It's catching on that fast. I'm also a little worried about the competition when it comes to companies like Decagear who were pretty much making the idea of built in eye tracking and face tracking very popularized around the community. I hope all the people that follow projects like Decagear and are excited about Decagear do not get swayed by the anti-competitive practices of Facebook releasing a Quest Pro at probably a cheaper price than, well, they're paying for it to make it. People think that Quest Pro won't come out till later next year, but I think that's kind of unreliable. I personally believe that Facebook will kind of adopt the cell phone model of releasing something every year, one iteration being a big number like Oculus Quest 2, Oculus Quest 3, but the between year being like a pro series of a headset. I think that's in a very attractive model for Facebook personally. And despite the said that they don't have any plans to release anything this year, you should not believe that in my opinion, because those are CEO and executives speaking as a PR unit. It's very bad PR for executives to literally say, we are gonna have a product soon. You know why that's bad PR? Because what are consumers going to do when they hear that news? They are not going to buy the current gen headset that is available now. They will not buy it and just wait for the next one, which is literally suicide for a company that wants to sell their products. So I personally believe we'll see a Quest Pro later this year even. Maybe early next year. I do not think we'll wait till fall or winter of next year to see something like this. They are actively working hard on their face and eye tracking stuff for the Quest Pro. And... Yeah, they want to get into it as soon as possible. Zuckerberg even said that himself, so. VR. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something about eye and face tracking and literally how big it's going to be very soon for VR. It's going to be so big, guys. I swear to God, it's going to be like the second coming of anything we've seen. It's going to be so normalize very soon that I just feel it's a very po important topic to get on now and uh, I hope you would please like the video and subscribe if you enjoy this content and again check out my description for any other things you might be interested in. Anyway, bye!